all right we're back with an update on the three sisters garden uh, i posted before and there wasn't much growing here i had the seeds planted i had a few sprouts coming up uh, but now we have a jungle and uh, it's really thriving so i wanted to give everybody an update and i also said i'd update on the failures not everything was a success but overall uh, this thing is just rocking and pumping out a lot of pumpkins with very few pests which has been great so if you don't remember, this is a Three Sisters garden. I planted corn, beans, and squash, or winter squash, pumpkins. And I also did it in a Back to Eden garden style with just a bunch of wood chips. And I got you know, at least 9 inches, 9 to 12 inches of wood chips. I started piling them on last year. So they've had some time to break down. Uh, you'll see the border. This is going to be raised. This The, the land kind of slopes down. So this is going to be raised. It's just going to take a while to actually get this all finished. Uh, but <clears throat> this is what we have for now. And I've got one row of stones right here. I covered it up with the tarp just to keep Bermuda grass out. Bermuda, um, you know, that's straight from the pit of hell. So we're, we're doing our best to keep that out. And so far that's working pretty good. Um, okay, so what I have planted. <clears throat> there are a few okras. Not all of them made it, but the few that did. Are doing great and actually we were gone over the weekend and they started putting out okra and some of them are already way too big so i'll just let those go to seed and start picking the young ones uh, but they are doing really well so over here i have a mixture of the muscata family so your fairy tale pumpkins i'll show you one right here uh so fairy tale pumpkins and then uh, some butternuts, which I have a few butternuts in there, but gosh, they're hard to find because they still haven't yellowed out. They're still green, and they're really difficult to spot, but I do have a few. Uh, this is a great one, <laughs> Cinderella. No, I'm sorry, fairy tale pumpkin. Uh, that's got a great shape to it. You probably have four or five of those in here. Let's see. Here's three more right here. Um, coming around right in the middle here, we have our green striped Kushaw squash. And instead of crawling in the middle of that, let me show you one that I've already harvested. I actually harvested two. And I submitted one in the fair. I submitted one Kushaw squash and then a Connecticut field pumpkin, kind of your jack o' lantern carving pumpkin. And uh, so I'm going to go today to the fair to take a look at that. But this is the green striped Kushaw squash. And I've been growing these for years. I've never got them this big um, this is just incredible these are heavy this is probably you know 20 25 pounds i mean it's it's dense they make great pies they make great stews or soups um i, I haven't watered haven't treated haven't fertilized haven't treated for any pests we haven't i haven't seen one squash bug in this whole patch i've been looking for eggs i've been looking for squash bugs i haven't seen one uh, which has been incredible the wonderful thing about the deep uh, wood chip method well you can use leaves you can use hay whatever you want but i had a source of wood chips um, but you start digging in here and already i feel moisture uh, it just holds moisture like a sponge and so if you have a deep enough bed you don't really have to water, uh, at least where I am. I'm in 7B, I'm in Oklahoma, and it gets pretty hot. It's been, we've had triple digits for several weeks, you know, 108, 109, really, really hot. And these guys just haven't shown much wilt in the middle of the day. When I've planted them out in the back in the past, uh, they would wilt in the middle of the day just because it's so dang hot. And uh, I had a little bit of mulch, but I didn't have this kind of mulch or this deep of a mulch. And so I would still have to go out there and water a bit just to kind of cool them off. Um, with this, there just hasn't been a whole lot of wilt. So right here in this area, I have the Connecticut field pumpkins. Um, and right here, I did plant some bush beans. They're starting to come up uh, for the fall. <laughs> These sunflowers, they just reseed themselves every year and we just let them go. Um, but there is... You probably can't see it. But there's a Connecticut field pumpkin over there. I got some that are getting orange. So let me show you those. i work, work my way around here. Yeah. Okay. 
That's nice and orange. So I don't have a lot growing right here. Um, there's an orange one. Right here. That one's kind of small. And there's there's several more right here. So, Moscata family. This is the... I forget which family. This is the Connecticut Field Pumpkins. Over here we have the Maxima family. And I, I, I seeded a bunch of different varieties. And I'm just going to let them cross. I'm kind of curious what's going to happen next year. But we have the Boston Marrows. I'll show you a Boston Marrow right over here. This is a Boston Marrow. Yeah, it's kind of like a big blue Hubbard squash. Similar. Um, right here we have... This is a Moringa. Uh, that's a Brazilian pumpkin. And then right here we have a Cinderella pumpkin. Uh, I think this style of pumpkin inspired the, the Cinderella carriage. Uh, those are really great eating pumpkins. One thing I noticed, I said we didn't have much pest problem. Uh, no squash bugs or anything like that. Just the other day, you know, I was trying to let this ripen up on the vine. I did notice this spot here starting to yellow. And this little part right here that's kind of eaten out. And then today, I noticed there's a little hole right here. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm thinking something burrowed in. I don't know what it is. If you know what does that, maybe you could comment. So I think what my plan is going to be is to just go ahead and harvest that. And just salvage what we can <clears throat> before the whole thing spoils. But we do have more. Got a tiny one right here back up a little bit we got two pretty big pretty good size Boston marrows right there and one right there there's a big Kushaw squash hiding right there again those things are getting massive massive uh, I mentioned failures oh there's a pretty one that's starting to get really dark, getting really good color. Uh, that's another Cinderella pumpkin that's not huge, but still has got really good shape. But look how healthy these plants look. There are a few spots that look like maybe have some, maybe powdery mildew. That was gonna be a compost bin and then it got knocked over. Um, right here, we do have some spots on the leaves. These are the Kushaw squash right here. I think that's powdery mildew, but I'm not sure, but it hasn't taken over the whole thing. It's just kind of isolated into that one spot, so, um, but everything else is looking pretty good. So failures, corn, they did not like it over here. Let's see if I can come over here. If you remember the previous video, it's like Mission Impossible walking through here. Um, I planted corn all throughout here, and it just didn't do well. Uh, I did have a couple stalks. This one really liked it. There's one over here that just kind of got knocked down by the wind. It's a pretty big one. It really liked it over here. Uh, and then there's just a few little, tiny little ones. They just, did, they just didn't like it. So we'll see. I might try it again next year. Another year of the wood chips breaking down into that more rich compost. Maybe they'll like it a little bit better. I'll probably do a trial run or, or a test plot. Maybe do some here and then some in the back, uh, just in the in the soil. And when I say, you know, planting in the wood chips, I don't plant in the wood chip. I dig down. Like right here is just hard wood chips. But if you keep digging down, it doesn't take long to where you get to actually rich compost. And if it hasn't broken down at all, for example, down in this area, this is newer stuff. It hasn't really broken down. I dug all the way down to the soil. So at least get it to get your seed to the compost layer or the soil. If it's in the compost layer, th those roots are still going to go down into the soil. But I wouldn't plant it, you know, just into this rough wood chip stuff. Uh, that root has to have a median to grow into. So I think there's a little bit of a misconception when people... Uh, start learning about back to Eden gardening with wood chips 
is they just want to stick a seed in a pile of wood chips and it just doesn't work that great but anyways what am i missing i don't know it's been a great success um really looking forward to the harvest uh, here to a month month and a half as we get closer to halloween uh, it's it's going to be exciting to actually get to carve our own pumpkins and just have we're going to carve in our own pumpkins got a really good one right there inside and so these things just kind of they hide until one day you just notice them um carve our own pumpkins we're going to have a lot of soup a lot of pies and i uh, just i just love growing a three sisters garden or just a pumpkin patch. Um, that's one of my favorite things to grow. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you've got any questions, put a comment below. Thanks.